Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. The most historical attraction at Walt Disney World can be found in Magic Kingdom's Tomorrowland. Carousel of Progress opened on January 15, 1975, as part of a large Tomorrowland expansion at the park. This 21-minute animatronic show is the only attraction at Walt Disney World that Walt himself had a personal hand in creating. It was known as his favorite show. Before Carousel of Progress found a home at Magic Kingdom, it first debuted at the 1964 New York World's Fair, and then could be found at Disneyland in California from 1967 until 1973. Now, through all these years, the show has seen some changes, especially during its time at Magic Kingdom. Although it may not be the most popular attraction at Walt Disney World, it has such a rich history and contains many little secrets and tributes to the past. There's probably a lot you don't know or haven't noticed about the attraction, including one mysterious appearance, or maybe disappearance is the more appropriate term. So while we discuss the history of this great, big, beautiful tomorrow, sit back as we count down the top 10 secrets and facts of Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Number 10. Around and Around One aspect of the Carousel of Progress that's pretty unique is its Carousel Theater. The show has moved around from New York to California and finally to Florida, but with each new location, a new theater structure was constructed. Now, although this isn't a traditional carousel, it still functions in the exact same way since the seating area is what rotates. It's a great big carousel. The theater is separated into six different areas, a separate loading and unloading area plus four different acts. When the attraction was brought to Walt Disney World in 1975, they actually changed its rotation to move counterclockwise as opposed to clockwise. But the stage has always remained stationary and doesn't move. Well, actually, Act 1, 2, and 3 all have two small turntable stages that revolve to show different scenes of the family. If you watch and listen closely, you'll definitely be able to see this happen. Number 9. Electric Leftovers the General Electric Company approached Disney to help them create an attraction for the 1964 World's Fair. Progress Land, the pavilion that housed Carousel of Progress, was sponsored by General Electric and was the most popular attraction at the fair. When Carousel of Progress found its home at Walt Disney World in 1975, General Electric signed a 10-year contract to remain the sponsor for the attraction. At the end of the contract in 1985, General Electric chose to not renew. Correct. That's the third one this week. So this meant that all references to the company needed to be removed. Most of the changes came in the form of some lines being rewritten and re-recorded. But since General Electric appliances were used as props in the scenes, a lot of them actually remained. To this day, you can still find hints of General Electric scattered through Act 2 and Act 3 of the show. The vacuum and the fan seen in the 1920 scene of Act 2 are both made by General Electric, and if you look closely, you can see the GE logo. In Act 3, which takes place in the 1940s, the fridge is the easiest to spot the General Electric logo, and if you look really closely, the dishwasher is another General Electric appliance. Number 8. A Great Big Time of Your Life there's a Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow is a classic Disney tune composed by the Sherman Brothers. It debuted with the Carousel of Progress at the 1964 World's Fair and has now become the anthem of Tomorrowland. But when the attraction found its home at Magic Kingdom in 1975, There's a Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow was nowhere to be heard. Now is the time, now is the best time, be it the time of joy or strife. The Sherman Brothers were actually asked by General Electric to write a brand new song. They thought that A Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow implied that customers should wait until tomorrow to purchase their appliances. So instead, the Sherman Brothers wrote the song titled The Best Time of Your Life. The lyric Now is the Time implied that customers should buy their appliances now and not tomorrow. The song still had a bouncy, feel-good vibe, but it was a pretty big change for the Carousel of Progress. 
And this wasn't the only major change the attraction saw when it moved to Magic Kingdom. Number 7. The Tomorrow of Act 4 The last scene of the Carousel of Progress has always been designed to give a glimpse into technology of the present and near future. What we know today as Act 4 at Magic Kingdom wasn't what originally opened in 1975. Having a whole family here together on this New Year's Eve is even more beautiful. You know, dear, I think you're right. Well, of course she is. This year was New Year's Eve in the home of the 1980s, and it was actually the first time the entire family was in Act 4. The original only had the mother and father. This version lasted until a major refurb in 1994, when Disney reworked the entire show. They changed the last scene to now represent Christmas in the home of the 2000s, and brought There's a Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow back into the show. The version today is a much closer representation of what originally opened in 1964. Since we're in 2018 and Act 4 is a prediction of the 2000s made in 1994, this scene is kind of outdated. Just look at their clothes and the furniture. It screams 90s. But their predictions of what was to come are pretty accurate, with VR and voice activation. John, what's wrong with the oven? What? Uh, uh... It would be really great to see Disney update the final scene, but who knows what the future has in store for this great big beautiful tomorrow of Act 4. Number 6. Hidden Mickeys In the last Disney Beat episode, we mentioned that Hidden Mickeys in the theme parks didn't officially begin until they were building Epcot in the early 80s. Well, with the refurb that happened in 1994, the Carousel of Progress saw a few tributes to the mouse hidden into the attraction. The first one can be found in Act 3 of the 1940s. Patricia, the daughter, appears on the right-hand side, and sitting on a stool is what looks to be a witch's hat. If you look closer, it's actually a tribute to Mickey's sorcerer hat, complete with the stars and moon. Fantasia was released in 1940, so this would have been an appropriate hat that Patricia could have actually had. The other hidden Mickeys can be found in Act 4, and most of them are pretty easy to spot. Under the Christmas tree, there's a hidden Mickey on one of the presents, which I'm almost positive is a hidden speaker for the attraction. I'm sure by now you've also noticed the Mickey plush toy hidden under the tree, and if you look up at the fireplace mantle, one of the Nutcrackers is actually Nutcracker Mickey. On the other side of the scene, the Mickey salt and pepper shakers on the kitchen counter are pretty easy to spot, but next time, sit in the front row and take a look into the trash can. You'll spot Sorcerer Mickey, which is actually part of the Walt Disney Imagineering logo on an envelope. And speaking of Sorcerer Mickey, when the theater is rotating from the 1940s into the 2000s, keep an eye on the wall behind the kitchen table, and you'll find an abstract painting of Sorcerer Mickey. Number 5. Marked and Pinned In the final act, there's a few other references worth noting around the mother's desk. On the dry erase board, you can make out that it says Grandma and Grandpa Flight Number 1964. Well, if you couldn't guess, the 1964 flight number represents the year that Carousel of Progress debuted at the New York World's Fair. Late Disney Imagineer Marty Sklar had a hand in writing every version of the Carousel of Progress. In the attraction, you'll find a piece of paper pinned up on the corkboard that reads Marty Called, Wants Changes. And this here is a tribute to the iconic Disney Imagineer. Number 4. The Mysterious Disappearance Now, Carousel of Progress isn't necessarily about the character's progression of age. The attraction's more about what life would be like for the same family living in each of these time periods. Now, the immediate family consists of John the father, Sarah the mother, Patricia or Patty the daughter, and James or Jimmy the son. They only have two kids. But in Act 1, have you ever noticed this younger daughter, or what I assume is another daughter in the scene? Who is she? Why is she there? We never see this younger daughter again in any of the other acts. And it's not Patricia. She appears later on in Act 1. All these people! I'm... I'm indecent! <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. If Patricia didn't appear in the first act, then you could argue that this younger daughter is just Patricia who then gets older in the later acts just like James does in Act 4. Disney has never given an explanation to this, so what do you think the story is behind this mysterious younger daughter who just disappears? Leave a comment below! 
Number 3. Close to Extinction Did you know that we almost lost Carousel of Progress for good? Well, with the events that took place on September 11th, 2001, Walt Disney World experienced a drastic drop in attendance. On October 29th, 2001, Disney closed the doors to Carousel of Progress. The Orlando Sentinel reported that progress outdates Disney attraction, and that Magic Kingdom has quietly shuttered Carousel of Progress. Disney even removed the attraction from park maps. Carousel of Progress only reopened for the busy Christmas season in 2001, then it closed again in January of 2002. Carousel of Progress was then considered a seasonal attraction, just like Stitch's Great Escape is today, and it only operated during select peak times. Luckily, after a rise in attendance, it was taken off seasonal status in early 2005, and it returned to being a daily operating attraction. Number 2. Cameos There's a couple of characters from Carousel of Progress that make small cameos in other attractions around the resort. Disney reuses animatronic face molds to cut costs, so the grandma that can be seen here in Act 1 sitting in the rocking chair can actually be found in the ballroom scene of the Haunted Mansion at Magic Kingdom. In Spaceship Earth at Epcot during the Renaissance scene, the violin player is actually the daughter, Patricia. In the video where we talked about Epcot's future world, I had said that the man playing the lute was Dwight Eisenhower from the Hall of Presidents. But, upon further investigation, there are some accounts that list the lute player as John from Carousel of Progress. Since Patricia was reused as the violin player, it makes a lot more sense that this lute player is John. Not to mention that it looks like him. But, what do you think? Number 1. I Know That Voice You can hear some pretty familiar voices in the current version of Carousel of Progress. John is voiced by the late Gene Shepard. Phew, boy, hottest 4th of July we've had in years. You'd probably recognize Gene as the narrator from the holiday classic A Christmas Story. Weeks ago, I had sent away from my little orphan Annie's secret society decoder pin. Sarah the Mother is voiced by B.J. Ward. So glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch. You don't need to go far in Tomorrowland to hear B.J. again. She provides the voice of the safety spiel on the People Mover, and can also be heard doing the safety spiel on It's a Small World at both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom. Putting your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat, and please watch your children. Thank you. The grandfather is voiced by Rex Allen, who was actually the original voice of John in the 1964 version of Carousel of Progress. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. And Uncle Orville is voiced by the legendary late Mel Blanc, who is most famously known as the voice of Bugs Bunny. No privacy at all around this What's up, Doc? So, there you have it. Now, do you think Disney will ever update the final scene of Carousel of Progress? I mean, the current one is almost 25 years old. So, leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel, and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like!